Hey there, Cody Thompson, and I want to make this quick video and show you exactly how to set up an ebook or lead magnet on your website. Quite often I get asked this question about the best practice way to do it, so I thought I'd make this quick video and show you exactly how we can set one up on your website. So this is a website here for one of our clients. Uh, they're a building client. And uh, you can see that there's a section like this uh, on the home page of their website. So to put uh, a section like this together, um, you really need to have a, a designed ebook cover. Um, so you could get one of those done on Fiverr or Upwork or something of that nature uh, for quite cheaply. Otherwise, you could check out a website uh, such as like Invalto Elements or something like that, uh, where they have templates um, which you could kind of take, download, and then edit to um, create your ebook cover. So once you've got the ebook cover, obviously you need to have the ebook written. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, we weren't sure if the ebook would work yet. And so we just basically wrote it in, um, Google, in a Google Doc and then downloaded it as a uh, PDF and then it just attached the cover to it. So it's a fairly simple uh, ebook for now. And uh, if it gets a lot of downloads, then um, they'll probably spend some cash uh, upgrading the ebook and making the actual resource better. So the first step is creating the resource. Once the resource is created, uh, we can add a section like this uh, on the website. So you can see we've got the, the book here on the left-hand side, and then we've got the headline, and we've got some text here, and then uh, the form uh, that needs to be filled out to get access to the ebook. So this is one way uh, that we can do it, but there's lots of other ways um, that you can lay it out on the page, but here's an example of how it can be done. The next thing we need is a specific thank you page, which we uh, wanna make available when someone fills out this form. Uh, so here's a, just a quick example, very basic page, um, but basically thank you for downloading and let them know um, you know, that it will be hitting their inbox within the next five minutes, just in case uh, the CRM system takes a little bit of time to actually um, get the email into their email inbox. And then if they don't receive it, we want to encourage them to, um, to reach out to us. So they're the two pages, the only two pages that we need uh, on the website to get this uh, system working. So the next thing we need to do is create an automation in our CRM system. Our CRM system is a client relations management system and it can be used to automate tasks in your business. And so um, I'm using Active Campaign here, but you can see the automation that I've built. It's very basic. So what we want here is uh, something to fire the automation. So I'm gonna use a tag, um, which is builder or designer ebook. Um, and then the next step, it's just a very basic uh, automation is I wanna send the email and then I wanna remove the tag. Uh, now, the reason I want to remove the tag is because um, if I leave that tag on there, then um, let's say that the, the person who downloaded the ebook forgot they had the ebook and went back to your website to download it later. If they uh, still had the tag, when they fill out this form again, the tag won't be added again, and so they won't be added to this automation again. So I, I want to remove the tag so that, it, let's say, in, in two months' time, the person could fill the form out again, and they would be still sent the same um, ebook. Uh, then what I want to do is uh, send them to an ebook lead nurture email sequence. So this is an optional step, but really the goal of uh, the ebook is simply to get them in your database, and then you want to nurture them towards a sale. So we don't want to just send them the resource and then uh, hope that the resource is enough to convert them to a sale. We want to have a separate uh, we want to have a separate email sequence. So this is a, a simple email sequence that um, just goes through, and you'll see. Uh, it, what it does is it sends them um, some information about one of the projects this builder has done, then it sends them a testimonial video, um, and then it finally asks them, hey, uh, you know, why don't you book a call with us to discuss your project? Um, and so every single email um, would have a call to action in it, leading back to the next step, which is to book a call with them. And uh, even the ebook resource itself has a call to action in the resource telling them to take the next step and book in um, a call with them. So here's an example uh, quickly of the ebook uh, email that has been sent. So it's all branded. Um, obviously, it's using the merge field. So it's got the first name of the person. And then it goes through and um, sets the scene and then has a link for them to download the PDF. Um, and then, um, yeah, so there's a couple of links there to download the PDF. And um, it, it asks them to, you know, you know, have a conversation with them. So let me just quickly grab uh, the link so I can show you um, what this ebook is. Uh, file looks like. Um, so as I said, it's just a very basic file that we made in um, a Google Doc and then download as a PDF for now. And then I just 
designed in Photoshop a um, a cover to put on the front of the book. Um, so it doesn't doesn't look that sexy right now um, because we want to make sure that people are going to download it before we spend, uh, you know, before I quote the client and, um, you know, spend some of their budget designing the ebook out nicely. Like you could add photos of some of their projects and make the, the you know, the inside of the... Uh, the document look much more attractive, but you don't want to waste budget on it until you know that people are actually going to download the resource. Like I've spent a lot of money and time before creating resources that people haven't used. So you want to make sure you test it first and see that people are going to actually use the resource. And then if they do, then you can spend money, um, you know, upgrading the resource and making it better. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions at all about uh, adding a lead magnet on your website, then uh, please feel free to reach out to myself and my team. And uh, obviously we're WordPress experts. We love working with clients. If you need any help with your website, please uh, reach out to us.